Let's get this stuff moving. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to point that at you. Oh, shit. Did I just kill myself? I think I just killed myself and I'm still talking to this guy. Alright guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky Origin gameplay series with Survival Bob. You guys asked for it, so I've got a speed build here. It's not the entire episode, it's probably about the first 8 or 9 minutes. Throw some music to it. If you don't like the music, just go ahead and turn the volume down. Then uh, it'll come back to normal gameplay, normal episode stuff, and we'll advance the uh, Artemis quest line and do a few other things. So, hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, we'll, we'll probably do this... Uh, partially in a few more videos hit that like button if you enjoy this if you don't you hit this like that's fine too uh but uh i'd hope i can earn your sub it looks like i've got a little over 21 percent of the people who watch my videos that are subscribed at this point i appreciate all the support on the channel we've gotten recently make sure you've got those notification bells on as well so you know when i get my content uploaded and go live or do a premiere for a video
right, where should we put the overseer? I was thinking about putting him in there, but I kind of feel like... Sorry, that was weird. I kind of feel like I want him, like, here greeting us when we come in. Like, right around here, somewhere. I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know. Does it rain here? Has it ever rained here? I don't remember it raining here. Weather scalding rainstorms. Hmm. I don't remember that. Must not happen very often. Alright, so let's go to tech. Specialists. Terminals. And we can always move this. There we go. So when we pop up, you'll be right here. We're gonna build this out. This isn't done by any means, so don't don't freak out. I'm just um, I'm doing it piece by piece as I kind of feel it out. I don't have a really don't know exactly what I want to do. I've I've got a few ideas. I know I want uh, to be able to see down. I know I want to have like a big garage down here with uh, like my exocraft and stuff in it, and maybe my chlorine uh, stuff as well. Uh, we'll see. And then kind of living quarters and uh, the the base people up there. Um, I, I don't know why I built this tower. I may get rid of it. I may paint it a different color. Who knows? Who knows? But I do know we need to go find a base overseer now. All right. So let's go here. Uh, Ghost in the machine. Expand your staff. Uh, the numbers. I don't even care. You were wrong the last two times. I do not believe that you know the winning lotto numbers. We got our overseer. Come on, buddy. You are not bad looking. I mean, I'm not. I'm not hitting on you, but I've. You don't have weird eyes. I mean, your eyes are weird, but they're not bug eyes. So that's what. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you'll do. You'll do. Give me something base computer. 98%. Nope. Wait a minute. I got an elevator. Hey. hey. See, that's what I was looking for. Somebody to wave when I got here. What's up, buddy? How's it going? How do you like the place so far? You have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Take this glass and let starlight flood into your jolly home. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, with frost crystal. Okay, yeah, I already, I was, I've been making glass already. But I was digging a hole in the mountain. Thank you. Can we move along? Everything pours through glass in the end, but there's time enough for that. There are other things we have to do. If you premier, prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. Let's do that. The Corvax have suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them. I beg of you. The overseer asked me to gather chromatic metal in preparation for the recruitment of Corvax scientists. No problem. Hey, let me check. Um, and I've got it. If the here, here's some chromatic metal. Thank you for the science terminal. All right, let's get this stuff moving. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to point that at you. Oh shit! Did I just kill myself? I think I just killed myself, and I'm still talking to this guy. Oh, this is gonna be funny. <laughs> Make your way to an abandoned structure to harvest 
uh, the data from the terminals. I'll use it to fashion plans for storage container. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Uh, specialist Ern, you middleed. Uh, uh, we're going to call you Ernie. Ernie is reflective for a Gek. They almost seem to regret the greed that characterizes their people. They wish to make something new from the remains of the old. Is this just greed in disguise or something else? Whatever their motives, the overseer claims I will find data for the storage container, blueprint, and a nearby nearby structure. Excellent. You won't regret it, friend. I've marked you a site that seems to be ripe for exploration. Okay, good. I thought I thought I killed killed us both. Uh, build a science terminal. All right. So I think the science guy will probably. I think I'm gonna put him in here. This seems like a cool science place, right? What do you think? Let's do that. Science terminal. Let's see, right here maybe? How far back can we go, right? Right there? How's that? Hire a base scientist. Excellent. How far is this? Oh, just right through the mountains. Well, let's let's have fun with it. Abandoned terminal and give me what we're looking for. User identified terminal active accessing schematic. The place the overseer has led me to has long since fallen into disrepair. Its panels are buried beneath the same oily, pulsating fauna that I have seen before in long abandoned buildings. The air is fetid and damp. I power up the terminal with little hope of success, but to my surprise, it buzzes noisily and springs to life. Analyze schematics. My overseer's intuition has served me well so far. I shall have to trust that these schematics will contain the required data. Look at the rainbow. Mm, stretch it out, buddy. You're back! I am. Uh, here's some data. I found it. And now I have containers 1 through 9. Excellent. Now then, uh, do you think, friend, we should put that science terminal to use? Fill our home with clicks and lights of the Corvax? It would be so lovely. Alright, I'll go get it. I'm going. I'm glad we could have this chat, too. I really need to move this stuff, because I'm... It's not where I normally am, so I'm not using it. Let's go check our uh, oxygen depot thingy. See how this is doing. It's got 4,000, so it's full, right? Now it will continue to fill. Alright, so that's where we're going. Alright, where is he at? The electronic bean leans forward, skeptical. They scan me with a small device and shake their head. I am given an upgrade module in a dismissive wave. Alright. I'm looking for somebody. And they're not showing up on the frickin' marker. Ah, oh, I didn't have the right one on. Okay. Hey, buddy. Unknown life form. I passed my test. Ooh. I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base? A science terminal? Think of all that might be done. The Corbax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, necessitating them to go into the universe and pursue their interests. So uh, go get a job, is basically what, what somebody told you. All right, let's go. Come on. You're with me. I wish you weren't that ugly green color, but... I've had worse. Let's 
up, buddy? How's it going? A fine base traveler, as of course befits your honorable status. Your honor, your honor. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. The Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor walls, neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem to contain them. Uh, can you give me some aid? Honor to witness the monolith of the traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax, contribute. Take these blueprints, lubricant and acid. Liquids close to Corvax's heart. We got some lube. Gigantic bottle of lube. Lubricant. Recorded. Are we still talking? I can't move. Traveler, harvest marrow bulb and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Okay, I can do that. A scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt materials found underground. I think I've got some right down there, don't I? I swear I've seen some somewhere. I don't know that I've seen a cave here. Hmm. What's up, dude? You seen a cave? I need some marrow bulb. Excuse me, eyeball. Oh. Um, hey look, it does go underwater. Found one marrow bulb. Wait, there it is. Well, that was cool, not what I was expecting, but still cool. Let's see, can I get up there? Come on. Meow. <laughs> Hold on. I'm getting up there. Mm. Got it. You ready? Agree. Oh shit, I need three more marrow bulb. Are you kidding me? I thought it said go back. Alright, let's go. One eternity later. Mm, 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 mm. What's up, dude? Hey, man, I'm back. Got your stupid marrow bulb. I had to go to like three planets to find it. Here, have some freaking cobalt, too. A larger finer. Um, I already know how to make that. Alright, give me your core. You go night night. Alright, and we gotta switch back to the overseer. See what he wants. What's up, dude? Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. If I had some microprocessors, I could start a march on fate. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armor. Man, I know that guy. He's kind of a dick. The overseer asks for microprocessors in order to design the weapons terminal. Yeah, okay. How many do you want? Can't I make this? Yeah. Uh, I trust our new Corvax friend was helpful. They are merely the start of a merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? 
The overseer asked for the microprocessors. Here you go. You've done well, friend. I'm so very happy. Man, it was really hard to do. Okay. Uh, are we still doing this? Are we still talking? Okay. Now, imagine this, friend. A life form displeases you. You punish it. Reward it. Reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. Um, it puts the lotion on his skin. Is that is that what you're talking about? That's kind of creepy. That's what it's told! There, look. I'm putting the lotion on the skin. So it is with the sentinels and their attacks, but no more. Now we shall train the trainers. The overseer requires me to kill sentinels to bring back their pugnium. Yeah, done. The sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be free of the constant harassment. Mm. Choir pugnium. Check. Do you have it, friend? Their flesh, their pugnium. I got it. Got lots of it. Uh, yep, weapons terminal. Got it. I'm gonna put him up here. I feel like he needs to guard the entrance. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There we go. Alright, let us... Let's switch back to Science Guy. Let's go do that, because that takes some time. Alright. Uh, transmission Tower, right? Incoming message. You are not alone. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. Mm-hmm. Why are you creeping on me? There's no need to hurry. Um, okay. You will find us when the time is right. <coughs> gotcha. Well, here comes Apollo wanting to say something. Are you ready? Make sure you are. The job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. Yeah, whatever. What are you talking about? Good, let the hunt begin. Uh, I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interference in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be a disguise, the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetic delight is espionage. Um, <coughs> I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were. But this is no world of flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to the shell. This is who I am. Um, how'd that happen? I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. Okay. Mm so, start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use the portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Enter the factory, hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Sounds good. I'm all about the portals. All right. Terminal online. I'm prepared to insert the Corvax intelligence core into the transmission tower. The judgment of the convergence awaits. Hear your judgment. Terminal online. Connection established. Error. Diagnostic Corvax science unit corrupted by traveler interaction. Personality overwritten. Anomaly involvement detected. Solution. Quarantine Corvax. Oh, dude, you gotta go to quarantine, bro. I hate that. I hate that. Um, observe. Silence. Uh-huh. Okay. So basically there's like three or four missions going on at the same time right now. And I just, I have to know what I'm doing and switch in between them, otherwise I'll be wasting a ton of time going back and forth and doing them one after the other. Such a pretty sunrise. It's 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. I ran into the door. Let's see, that's... That's... My bad. That's on me. That's on me. Alright, what do you want? The terminal houses upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find few clues for Apollo. It seems the Corvax within left the world many days ago, apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species, Flotilla. Something has them worried. Probe factory logs. Let's give them a good probing. Hey. That's rude. Well, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky Origin series with Survival Bob. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Hit subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. Guys, also, uh, I'm on Twitter, and I've got a Discord channel. I've got links in the description uh, to both of those. If you'd like to follow Survival Bob on Twitter or join the community Discord, check out the links in the description. I'm bad about advertising that stuff, but uh, we've got a pretty good got a pretty good group going there so love to have you join this is survival bob saying if you're gonna be a bob have fun with it and uh remember if you're gonna use a plasma launcher back up before you shoot these little boogers they try to kill you they try to make you kill yourself something we'll see you next time guys take care